And many say the Biden administration's gender policy council may be sexist and racist, while the White House touts its efforts to be the most inclusive administration in history. One America's chief White House correspondent, Chanel Rion, has more. Feminist scholar and co-author of The Boy Crisis, Dr. Warren Farrell, tells One America News, if there was ever a problem with racism and sexism in America, Biden's new Gender Policy Council will only serve to make it worse. Yes, I had a half a second of hope where I thought, oh, Gender Policy Council, great, it's got to be men and women. Um, and so, and then I looked and saw the mission was to only benefit very clearly, uh, to only benefit women and girls. And I was so disappointed, but not, I can't say I was really surprised. Farrell, having spent decades fighting for gender liberation for both men and women, having served on the board of directors for the National Organization for Women in New York City, says Biden's Gender Policy Council propagate sexism under the guise of tackling it. So there are two genders and um, President Biden has said uh, this gender policy council will ex uh, focus exclusively on women and on girls. And that's missing not only women and girls, but he also claims to be very caring about trans and LGBTQ. Well, if you're a man and you're trans, or if you're a man and you're gay, uh, you are not included in this gender policy council. As for the racial component of the council, Farrell says, same story. And most amazingly, um, the Gender Policy Council's mission is to, you know, to do away with racial injustice. Well, if you think about that, racial injustice has to do with black males and black females. But there's a difference between the uh, what's been happening with black males and black females when it comes to racial injustice. If we think about prisoners, it isn't females, it black females in prison, it is black males in prison. If you go by the streets in a city in the evening and you see a homeless person that's black, the chances are about 95% that that black person is a male. And so to talk about black uh, to talk about eradicating racial injustice and then only focus on females is adding, is, is racially unjust and it's not going to solve the problem of racial injustice and it's adding sexism to racial injustice. Farrell adds, it's not that the Biden White House is unaware of the one-sidedness of this council. Ultimately, this is about politics. I've said to the Biden administration, and I've had contact with people like Jennifer Granholm, who's a good friend, um, and talked with their, some of their advisors about this. And I said, you know, we are all in the same family boat. Uh, when only one sex wins, both sexes lose. I am so disappointed in President Biden. I fear that this might be the case that he, because he's he's come to power with the feminist base. Which is reflective of the Democrat Party's war against men and boys for years. The Democrats have been just in terrible mood about um, is they haven't understood the value of the family and they have not understood the value of fathers. When I did the uh, interviewing of 11 of the presidential candidates on the trail uh, after Hickenlooper and uh, Yang uh, said that they really saw what I meant and they were uh, enthusiastic about it. I, I talked with their campaign managers and the campaign managers were very clear to me. They said, Warren, we cannot afford to, um, to lose our feminist base. We can't afford to make single mothers uh, feel uh, bad and not uh, vote for us. Uh, we, we just, I cannot allow um, our candidates to talk about that. Farrell says, with boys dropping out of high school at twice the rate of girls, facing significantly higher unemployment than their female counterparts, and Democrats refusing to address the crisis of fatherhood in black communities, Biden's gender council will only do more harm than good. Chanel Rian, One American News. Washington. And still to come on this hour of One American News, consumer spending falls for a second straight month in December.